to Michael Clendenin of Red Tech Advisors. Uh, he's been following the tech sector in China for the past decade, and he joins us this morning from uh, Shanghai. Michael, good Thursday morning to you. Uh, what do you make of these numbers coming from Tencent? Were you a little disappointed there? I think what you have to look at with Tencent, uh, as you saw in the earlier piece, they have made a lot of acquisitions. Uh, clearly, their uh, operating margin has come down by several percentage points in the last year, uh, and that has been disappointing for the market. Uh, but uh, they clearly are uh, gathering the right sorts of uh, companies together to uh, put together a stronger Tencent in the future. And once they get through this uh, investment phase, you should see them spend less uh, and their operating margin should improve. And I think uh, over the next 6 to 12 months, the market should be pretty happy about that. Okay, so you're saying Tencent's a buy right now, even at these levels, at close to 200 Hong Kong dollars apiece? It's come up quite a bit, uh, so you know we would be a little cautious at this point. Uh, certainly, if the stock dips down a bit, we would like it uh, even more. Okay, so what levels would you buy in at? Uh, probably somewhere, uh, if you saw another 10, 20 percent dip in it, uh, certainly uh, along the 10 percent line, we would like it. Uh, because really, again, you've got to look out uh, almost 12 months for these guys. Uh, and, and if you can have the patience to look out that far, and I think a lot of investors do, this stock should continue to do very well. Okay. Well, what about uh, Tencent's, I guess, its product lineup? Yes, I know it does very well with its instant messaging service, the QQ. I know it's good in social networking and also uh, some of these online games. But, uh, you know, we have up-and-comers like the Weibo Twitter service, also RenRen.com, Dongdong.com, which is also selling goods on the mainland as well. Is Tencent maybe at risk of um, losing market share? Uh, I think if you look at the main businesses that uh, Tencent is trying to push into, as you said, they're, they're trying to get into e-commerce. Um, I, I think actually the, the issue there is that they can gain uh, some incremental market share in these new areas. So they've, they've done e-commerce. They're looking at online video. Uh, they're doing very well in online video. They're also looking at the online travel industry. So these are all new areas that they're getting into that they can uh, incrementally monetize. Actually, if you look at microblogging, uh, we've seen from Cena that that's actually a very difficult area in this early phase to monetize. Uh, and so the approach, I think, for Tencent with their Weibo uh, is to have that uh, not be a directly monetized uh, product, but something that okay. can continue to bring in uh, old users and new users to their existing products. Okay. Now, Michael, what about the uh, video streaming business? Uh, we got to talk about that massive, of course, a takeover from uh, Yoku taking over Tudo.com. And taking a look at Tudo's stock up uh, three times, by the way, just in the past week. Some say that uh, Tudo really got the uh, best of this deal. And, and Tudo shareholders who now get Yoku stock for each one they used to own. Hey, yeah, you know, there's no doubt that it's a fantastic deal for uh, Tudo shareholders. Uh, we like to see this kind of consolidation in the industry. Problem is, uh, at this point, uh, you've got uh, roughly eight to ten legitimate players in that industry, so a little consolidation is good, but we still, see, uh, we still need to see uh, a lot more in the future. Yeah, especially when the, right now Yoku isn't making money, and neither is uh, Tudo. So uh, you think Yoku here, what do you think? Did they make a mistake by going after Tudo, especially at these levels? Uh, I don't think there's anything else that they, uh, they could have done, so they didn't have a lot of uh, choices before them. Uh, the greater issue they're going to face now is that any further consolidation in this industry is going to be with very small players, uh, and that the main competition they face now is Sohu, uh, Baidu's uh, GE platform, uh, and then you've also got Tencent. So these are all uh, big integrated players that they face that have deep pockets. All right, to Michael, thank you so much for your analysis this morning. Michael Clendenin of Red Tech Advisors joining us from Shanghai.